Today was, at least this week, was, was uh, one of my most favorite weeks that I've had since I've been president the last uh, 18 months. It started with really identifying our best partners on the deck. We had our best team dealers in. We talked about what the future was going to be, both short term and long term. We then talked about opportunities beyond just the work that we're doing in the competitive set. Now, on the competitive side of the business, I look at our core group of about 3 million consumers. We're winning across the board. The other thing that, that I was really excited about is what does it mean for us to broaden the space and kind of go boom? We had our Exos group in, who are the leaders in sports performance, and we have a wonderful relationship with them as they start to redefine what the water could be and how you start to broaden that opportunity. And we did two things. It had to be fun and it had to be hard, and we're starting to watch that expand. We'll probably be in 80 lifetime locations by the end of the year, right? And each lifetime location has four or five pools, which means we're in the water in a different way and really starting to expand the, the opportunity there. But what's been most exciting in some of the work that we've done is really the opportunity to expand into what we call the recreational side. Speedo belongs in, on, and around the water, right? And it's truly we're ubiquitous in terms of our opportunity to expand across a wide variety of consumers. So imagine our play in the women's recreational swimwear. Imagine our play in the men's recreational swim. Really with the, uh, you know, the history and the legacy of, of the success at both our competitive side as well in our Speedo Fit world that allows us to really expand the business. And for me, as the operator of the business that has to deliver the appropriate revenue and profit back to reinvest into the business, it's really exciting.